Hello, today is the 28th day of uh, May 2013, and if you do a search for Snap Food, you get the uh, amount of Americans on food stamps. This is a chart going back to the start of uh, January 2008, obvious uptrend. There's been a lot of yearly records, actually. I'm going to show some other charts as well, but uh, from what I see here, of the last 54 months, going to February, there has been 40 new all-time highs. That's, that's pretty high. Anyway, other charts. Let's take a look at uh, the yearly chart. This is uh, going back to 1969. Clear breakout of resistance, obviously. Let's uh, take a look by, by, uh, by percentage of people using the population instead. So it's a little bit differently that way, but still in a major decline. And I put this chart up because today what I read was soaring consumer confidence points to U.S. resilience. So some keynotes. U.S. consumer confidence strengthened in May to the highest level in more than five years, suggesting Americans' attitudes were resilient in the face of a belt a tightening in Washington, a private sector report showed on Tuesday. Consumers' labor market assessment improved the jobs hard-to-get index slipped to 36.1% from 369 while the jobs plentiful index gained to 108 from 97 stating that the good jobs are not... Um, going through, they're actually harder to get. And consumers also felt better about price increases with expectations for inflation in the coming months falling to 5.3 from 5.5. Better. Well, 5.3%. Just. Okay, well, it would take 15 years to double. There's a bunch of other ones too. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's now go on to poverty now. I read this today as well. Poverty in America, more than 46 million below the official poverty level. More than 10 million working poor. I just covered, of course, the easy to get jobs. More than 46 million people, or about 50% of the population, live below the official poverty level. And uh, well, the dead clock says that it's over 50 million today. Uh, another headline worth the search, the real number is half America in poverty, and it's creeping upward, the Census Bureau has reported that one out of six Americans lives in poverty. A shocking figure, but it's actually much, much worse. And uh, you can do a search for it, but they gave four different keys. Almost half Americans had no assets in 2009, and what I write in the more brownish color is what I've written in. So not, you won't get this on the article, just the four reasons. An economic model guarantees suffering, and it is playing out. The average human is worth less than the average spider or any other animal. Reason is because of debt, and the average human is worth negative via simple math. And that's because debt's guaranteed. The planet is in debt. And that's guaranteed to exist and to keep getting worse as long as we keep status quo. Numero deuce. It's even worse three years later, and yet the masses keep supporting the legal tender laws and keep status quo in play. With the internet today, ignorance is, ch is choice based on wage figures. Half of Americans are in or near poverty. While well, considering technological unemployment as well as making these levels continue to rise higher. Uh, dear human race, why do you keep supporting the legal tender laws when only shitty results will take place? Number four, based on household expenses, poverty is creeping into the top half of America. Just a side note, Zeitgeist Federal Reserve was a YouTube upload on 2007 or June the 17th, 2007. Money has debt, October 28th, 2007. It's been six years. Again, ignorance is choice.